Good evening. It's been nearly a week since a pair of local doctors held a news conference calling for shelter in place orders to be lifted across the state. 23 ABC's video of that press conference had garnered more than 5 million views on YouTube. But last night, YouTube removed that video, stating it violated YouTube community guidelines. 23 ABC's Bayon Wang has been following this development and joins us live from Northwest Bakersfield now. Bayon. Yeah, Jessica, when the doctor's news conference was removed from our YouTube page, man, all of our phones were ringing off of the hook. The public calling in, blowing up our phones, our emails, accusing us of violating freedom of speech laws. But we know that that is the furthest from the case that there is. YouTube confirmed with us that they removed our video from YouTube because they believe our video violated community guidelines. Now this incident catching national attention. I say, do we need to still shelter in place? Our answer is emphatically no. Do we need businesses to be shut down? Emphatically no. This is a portion of the 51-minute video in which Drs. Dan Erickson and Artin Masihi held a news conference last week making controversial statements about lifting shelter-in-place orders. The video received over 5 million views on YouTube, but that video was abruptly taken down by YouTube for content they say violated YouTube policy. YouTube sent us this statement saying in part, the content explicitly disputes the efficacy of local health authorities recommendations on social distancing that may lead others to act against that guidance. Joseph Rusamano, a mass communication law professor at Arizona State University, says the doctor's controversial comments played a role. It, it would seem to me that what YouTube's concern is, is the potential harm that this video may contain. Um, now, this is a rat piece of fucking shit, isn't he? Me to harm. What a fucking piece of garbage. Corporate whore. You know, if you look at it, as, as I'm sure you have, it, uh, the, the content of it uh, is contrary to what most members of the medical community are saying about COVID-19. But with Because all doctors are government fucking rats. Just like lawyers, politicians, and lobbyists. They're all rats. Of course, they're all going to suck the asshole of the fucking government. For one billion users, and as a haven for expressions, is YouTube considered a public forum that should uphold freedom of speech? Uh, there are those who would argue that while it's not the same as the old-time town square sort of setting, that in a digital age, in a social media age, that it, it in fact has taken the place of that, and in fact should be construed as a public forum. But according to a 2017 federal court case involving conservative nonprofit organization PragerU versus YouTube, YouTube contended that the First Amendment should not dictate how they moderate content on their platform. The court ruled in favor of YouTube, who removed PragerU videos that were made with a conservative perspective. Because all judges are fucking rat scum too. Appointed by a fucking lawyer to be a judge by a rat fucking politician scumbag. And 23ABC, we reached out to YouTube. We submitted an appeal wondering why our... Uh, video was removed. Their decision to put our video back up is still pending. Uh, we also got a chance to speak to Dan Erickson, who told me that he knows he was pushing against the grain. He knows that these kind of things aren't uh, unprecedented. He thinks that this is exactly what he was expecting. Now, if you want to watch that full press conference, you can head to our website, turnin23.com. We posted the full press conference there. You could also head to our Facebook page and watch it on any of our streaming services, including Apple TV, Roku, and Android. But for now, we're live in Northwest Bakersfield, Bayon Wang, 23ABC, connecting you. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. See if I can find that link to the full video. Who knows?